Uh, New Dimensions, we we do a range of um, contract machining, anywhere from small job shop orders all the way through large production volume type work. Um, we have um, kind of a specialty in the fluid power market. The way we got to the Makino FMS systems that we rely on so heavily today has been just the natural progression or development of meeting the customer demands of the market. We used to get by with setting up a setting up a machine and then running out a couple hundred or a couple thousand pieces as a production run. You can put those parts on the shelf and then distribute them out as a typical, you know, shop would do. And with the industry changing, uh, customers not wanting to commit to inventory, not forecasting part usage, it really has changed to where you have to be able to produce on demand, no excess inventory, and you need to be able to do it economically. We've been able to produce the same volume of parts with 70% less labor per part going through this technology transition into the FMS systems. The initial Makino purchase we made of the FMS system was definitely based on Makino's system being developed themselves. The seamless integration with the pallet system and the machines was a big selling point to us versus a third party system and dealing with an additional company. Um, that was definitely the selling point when we made our first purchase. Now the 15 machines we bought since then have definitely been a result of um, Makino as a partner. Uh, Makino's application support is second to none. Their maintenance technicians are always extremely responsive. It's very uncommon for us to have somebody here, you know, if not the next day, the same day um, to service our machines. It's very uncommon for that to not be the case. So Makino's partnership has been a big factor in us staying with Makino on all the subsequent purchases since that first sell. And we definitely see that partnership lasting into the future. Um, one of the most common problems that companies have, I, I think we can all relate to, is can't find the good people, right? And uh, that's something that we definitely have solved at New Dimensions. We have been working with uh, local high schools um, with their manufacturing programs or help inventing one or at least even adopting them with field trips. We've really shown them the new manufacturing that exists. We have found that um, there's almost no one man that can stand alone these days. The competition is so fierce that we consider all of our suppliers, whether it be tools, coolant, machine tools, like Makino, are, we don't really call suppliers here, we call them team members. The way to really succeed in just about any industry, is especially manufacturing, is you're going to need a good team. Uh, nobody's going to figure this out on your own. Our CAM software is incredibly supportive. Our tooling, our coolants, everybody's incredibly supportive. Makino, every machine we have purchased from them has come with two weeks on-site support, which is un unbelievable. Their, th their theory, their, their motto is basically, um, if we're not successful, they're not gonna be successful. I couldn't agree more, we've adapted it internally. We use it with our other suppliers. They've helped us with with macros, with processes, problem solving, uh, even cycle times on a couple of very difficult parts. We reference their application guys almost even individually. We know most of them by name whenever we go to their facility over a, a new purchase or a new, a new project. And they've helped us solve so many issues that you know we consider them a, a team member, not so much a supplier. So what we've been able to do in our systems is we have found that the biggest strength in our FMS systems is not so much speeds and feeds, although they, they do have whatever the top notch, you know, speeds, feeds and rapids are. We find that just in being able to flow small amounts of material very quickly through our cell with very, lim very limited amounts of non-value adding time. So we'll have the cell prioritize what job should be running Something that's a zero priority, that won't run until call it lunchtime or lights out, or during the day we're running higher priority jobs, simultaneous with them, um, all during the day while full support is here, the programmers, the technicians, inspectors. 
So then nighttime will come around and all the non-value adding pallets that need to go in to prepare for its first finished part, it'll, it'll run all that um, almost labor free with, with nobody attended during that spot. So that was the analogy we like to use is, you know, if you're not, you know, it's very hard to be competitive today if you, if you can't drive efficiently in the city. We have the best, the best fixturing. We're running today's best tooling, the best machine tools possible. We have in-house classes. We're teaching leadership. Um, we're teaching success. This whole team is on fire for just about anything you could throw at us. We used to machine maybe two different materials. Uh, now we'll just take about anything out there and run them. And you know, it does take a Makino to do a lot of those.